the concept that exposures are, are very subjective. Objectively, we do it. We have our meters. We have 18% uh, concepts. All that's correct to get us within the ballpark. When I say within the ballpark, it means that an art director may have a different opinion than what I do of a good exposure. I may look at a transparency. He may look at a transparency. I may think it's right on an exposure, and he may think it's a little dark, a little, uh, little over. Well, he's got the checkbook, so he's right. And I want to make sure that the art director is always pleased. So the concept of exposing film a certain way is important. The way we expose the film is realizing that you can over you can overdevelop, you can push, we'll call it, from one full stop from normal development. But you cannot pull. If you push, you can go one full stop without any contrast change or really much color change. But if you pull at all, even pull a third, you're gonna start flattening out the transparency and you're gonna start shifting color heavily. So this gives us the ability to, to work within a development range, which means we underexpose our film from a normal exposure one half stop. Whatever the Polaroid looks good at or whatever our meter says, to set an 80% value within that area on the diffused highlight of the subject, we underexpose at a half stop. Then we have the lab automatically overdevelop at a half stop. Now we're into a, what's called a half stop push. Next day the art director comes in up and notes that, okay, that looks like a good exposure. If he feels that's good, then we'll run them all at a half stop push. If he feels it's a little bit dark or a little bit light, we have the ability to push and pull within that range without any fear of color shift. We can push at a half stop or pull at a half stop and still be within our normal range of development without any contrast or color shift. Gives a lot of flexibility and our directors like the ability to come in the next day and take a look, say, fine, that's the range I want. The key to it, though, is that you have to expose every piece of film at that set. If you expose frame one at a certain rating, then the next 10 frames that you expose of the same setup must be the exact same setting. So when they do push or pull all of them the same, that the exposure stay consistent all the way through. It's a lot better doing that than underexposing one and third, overexposing one and third, and exposing one right on. Because if you want four transparencies, that means you've got to do 12 shots to get the four shots. There's several ways of doing this development control, depending on if you're dealing with roll film or you're dealing with sheet film. If you're dealing with roll film, you should always keep one magazine for just testing, meaning that if you're shooting six rolls on a particular setup, uh, that each time you change a roll, you should throw this magazine in there, make an exposure of the way you're going to expose that entire roll, and then keep it, save it, mark it on your documentation sheet. On now sheet film, it's a totally different story. You keep, keep just one magazine set, make, say, test, first exposure drop in, shoot it, okay, then the next seven, eight magazines, how many ever transparencies you need, are exposed exactly the same, the next morning, you look at your developments. The decision is made, should it be pushed or pulled relative to what that one is, and then the rest are uh, developed out. Now, what that gives you is to have the ability to have every single exposure exactly the same. And that's the most important thing about this thing is that when the art director likes a look, that he has a choice of all the different expressions, uh, forms, uh, sets, to where every exposure is right on the money. And that's a lot better than underexposing and overexposing on the actual exposure because it's just a lot less film to deal with. The most important thing in this entire series is the documentation of the shooting. As you can see right here, we exposed one test roll for the head and shoulders, underexposed it a third, and then we got that roll back. I underexposed it a third, developed it uh, a third push, got the film back, identified that those exposures look good. So then what we did is we developed out the rest of them at a third of the balance of state that and guaranteed that all the diffuse highlights, all the exposures were right on the money, and the art director had the entire decision of what he wanted to choose from the poses.